Hello, hello, friends. So today what we're going to do is we're going to keep going with our uh, basic programmatic skills playlist. Um, so the last few days we have been going over different data structures, algorithms, things like that. Today we need to go over cues. Um, cues, and th this shouldn't be hard if you've been following along with the playlist. It's uh, it's not it's not it's not that hard comparatively to what we've been doing. So. What are cues? Uh, if you remember the other day, I gave an example of stacks being representative of like a stack of plates to where you can only pick up the top plate. Well, cues would be like a line to get into, like to get in, to get on the bus or something. So it's like, it's the first person that's in is the first person that gets on the bus, and there's a line that forms behind them. Um, that's the archetypical way of thinking about it. So not hard we'll go ahead and implement them real quick and, and and as we go you should be able to should be able to follow this with with not much uh not much of a problem especially if you've been following along with the playlist if, and you've came this far so um let's uh it's same way with linked lists and with uh our stacks class we're going to create a node class so we have class node here and in that we'll make it we'll have a, a constructor and our constructor is going to take in some data and then this dot data is just going to equal data, and this dot next because we e we want each node to have a next is going to be initially set to null. So now let's make the Q class. So Q U E U E. Uh, that spelling totally sucks. Constructor in our Q class, it's not going to take in any uh, data or anything, but it will have a this dot first, uh, and that will initially be set to null. It'll have a this dot last. That'll initially be set to null. And then it'll have a this dot length, which will be initially set to zero. Okie dokie. So what are the methods that we want our Q class to have? Well, we want to have a peak method. What that does is it just uh, shows uh, shows first node in Q. And I'll abbreviate Q like that. So we want a peak. We want an on Q, Q -U -E, Q -E. that spelling totally sucks. Um, on queue basically means that we want to um, add a new. Uh, if there is, if there is no first, if there is no first, add a new first. Otherwise, uh, get in the back of the line. So it's basically like you walk up to a to a bus stop. If there's nobody there, boom, you're first in line. If there's a hundred people there, boom, you're last in line with. 99 people or 100 people in front of you, you're number 101. That'll take in some data. And then DQ, and what DQ is going to be, it's going to be to um, first person get on bus. So in that, in that idea, the first node that the first node is going to be gone, popped off, get on the bus, whatever way you want to think about it. And then first dot next is going to become the new first, and we're going to decrease the length of the uh, of the data structure. Okay, so uh, let's see here. I'm gonna try something here. Wait. Okay. Damn it. Ah. Okay. That'll work. So we should have an idea of what what all we're doing here. So let's implement this peak method right here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to check to see if there is, so if not, this not first, so if there isn't a first, we want to just return null. So if there isn't a first, we want to return null. Otherwise, we want to return this dot first. We want to return the first in that specific, uh, specific uh, queue. So now let's on queue. Basically, we want to add a new first here. So we'll say if uh, this dot length, if it's equal to zero, which means there isn't a first or isn't a last. Actually, let's not go by length. Let's just go by if, like, let's keep all of our tests like if not this dot first, because that'll pretty much tell you what you want to know. So if there isn't a first, then this dot first is going to equal node, which we need to set our node up right here. Up at the top, we'll go const node equals new node with the data passed in, that should make a new node. Okay, cool. So this dot first is gonna equal node, this dot last is gonna equal node, and then this dot length is gonna be plus plus. So that's if there isn't a first, right? So otherwise, if there if there 
is a first, we can go this dot. Now think about it. If we if we've already got it, we're on queuing here. So if there's already a first, well then we're not really changing the first value. We're really changing the last value. So we'll go. So if there already is a first, then we're basically adding to the end of the line. We're getting at the end of the line. We'll go this dot last dot next is going to equal the node, and we'll go this dot last equals node. So now we've changed the last to that node, and then we can increment this dot length plus plus. Now you see that we're repeating on line 32 and line 36, so let's go ahead and take those both out, and we'll just run it outside of the if else statement. And we'll go here, if this dot link plus plus, jump, jump, jump. and then down here we'll just return this right here. Okay, so that should uh, we should be able to add to it. So let's let's make a uh, let's make a uh, right here. Let's go const. Uh, Let's, let's go ahead and make a new queue. So we'll go const queue equals new q u e u e, and then we'll go um, q dot on queue, and we'll just add one like first in line. That'll be that. And then down here we just want to console. We'll console log queue each time so we can see what's going on here. So um, let's do control tilde. Open that up. And let's run node queues. All right, so we got some problems here. Uh, what line is that? Line five. I spelled this wrong. Four, five, right there. Okay, so let's run it again. Okay, so you can see when we added that one, it is the first in line. Its next is the first in line, or its next is null rather, but it's the last is first in line. So yeah, basically one person in the line right now. So let's add another one. We'll go Q right here, and we'll go doo -doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. And right here we'll go second in line. Second in line, so now let's run this, so we should have two in line. So the length is two, the first value is first in line, the second is second in line, length of two. Okay, so that's working, and we'll add a couple more here. Two, three, um, we'll add like, let's just say four. So that's second in line, third in line, fourth in line. And if we run it, that's what you can see. You have a link of four, the last one is fourth in line. Okie dokie. Let's get this out of the way. And let's do this DQ. So basically the, with the DQ, we want the first person to, to, to the first node to get on the bus or get popped off or whatever, but we want to basically decrease the length of the queue and we want to get rid of the first one. That's what we want to do. So we'll go if uh, this dot first. So if there's only one person in line, if this dot first is equal to this dot last, then we'll basically just set this dot first equal to null. This dot last equal to null, and this dot length minus minus. Um, now, if you wanted to have a reference, because this will get garbage collected if we don't, you could go const first equals or, or tracking node equals this dot first before we do that. And then you could just return it down here, return tracking node. So we'll know what we deleted, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna leave it like that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, like if there's, if we're DQing and there's only one, we're just gonna do it like that. And we'll return, actually, yeah, let's do that, whatever. Uh, const tracking node equals this dot first. So we'll have something to return and we'll turn tracking node right here. So at least we know what we what we dequeued. So if this dot first equals this dot last, then we're gonna do that. Otherwise, meaning that there's more than one in the in the line, then we'll do this. We'll say this dot first equals this dot first dot next. So we're moving the first to the next and then we'll go this dot length minus minus, right? So we're decreasing the length as it goes. So this dot first ends up being this dot first dot next. This dot length is gonna be decreased by one. And then uh, we can just return, 
we can do the same thing here. Uh, it's tracking node equals this dot first. And then we can just return the tracking node right here. Right? Now, there might be a way to refactor this. And as I run it, I'm going to see, because we are repeating some lines of code right here. So, so basically, instead of doing it like this, we could take this, get this tracking node as soon as we start the, uh, start the algorithm, or the method rather. Delete this, delete this, delete all this. Then we could just return tracking node here. That should work. So um, also this dot length, we could probably just eliminate writing that twice. And I don't even know that we need an else here as well, because we could just run this if, and if if those if that is the thing, if there is only one, we could just do like this. This dot last equals null. This dot first equals this dot yeah. So this dot first equals null, this dot first equals this dot next. And then we could go this dot length minus minus. We don't really need this else. Yeah, so really here, I should have wrote this out before I did this. <laughs> so basically right here, and that's just programming on the fly. We have we keep track of our tracking node. If this dot first equals this dot last, we'll go ahead and set last to null. And then for every one, we're gonna go this dot first equals this dot first dot next. So if this dot first is equal to this dot last, we're gonna set last to null. We're gonna set this dot first equal to this dot first dot next. All right, well, we might run into some problems here, but we'll see. So let's go. I don't wanna do it like that. So let's keep our four. We'll go Q dot D Q. And we'll do that. Let's just do it once and see what happens. So control tilde, open that up, run this code. So now we have second in line. So our first did get off. Now we have second in line is the, is the first node. Uh, so third and fourth should go here. So now we're down to one node. That's fourth in line. That's fine. We've dequeued three of them. Now let's see. This is where we might run into a problem here. Let's do it like this, and then let's run it. Okay, cool. So now we have first is equal to null, last is equal to null, length is equal to zero. We've successfully popped off all of them. If we take off that, you can see that our last node would be fourth in line with a length of one. So really, and, and, and literally, like that shows you how kind of intuitive these, uh, these cues are. I didn't write any notes. I just kind of wrote this out. So you can come to things like right here where you got to kind of reason it out as to what your return statement is going to be. Would it even be worth returning uh, this dot first? Like, you know, you figure it out as you go. But that shows you the intuitiveness of these because I didn't have any notes and I didn't, I hadn't wrote these out in a while and I just kind of did it off the top of my head. Not because I'm like super good at programming or something, but just because you can clearly understand once you start getting these data structures, you can understand what's supposed to happen and the pitfalls that you might run into as you're writing them out. But anyway, so that's it for queues. So we're done with stacks, queues, linked lists. We're done with arrays, hash maps. So we still got uh, trees, which is what we're going to do next. Uh, and then we'll have a small section on graphs. And then we're going to move into algorithms. I'm about tired of doing data structure stuff, but, you know, we're almost there. So uh, keep going, and I hope it helped. Take it easy.